What is up everybody? Welcome back to my advanced programming course using C++. Today we're going to talk about file I.O. operations. So we're going to start the our initial journey on how to manipulate files. Okay, an easiest way for me to show you that is by going into the compiler. So let me create a replit here, we'll call it file I.O. So there are a couple of things that you should be aware of when you're creating a file or writing to a file. So this example, we're going to write to a file and then we're going to read from it. Okay. A couple of um, libraries you should include is fstream. And then we also want to include string because sometimes we want to maybe um, read the data into a string variable. Okay. Now, we have an object called fstream, and this object allows us to read to a file and also write to a file. So I'm going to declare an object called uh, inout file, and then I'm also going to declare something called a word. So what we're going to do is we're going to write data to a file, and then we're going to read the data back. Okay, so in this example, um, we're going to create a file here on Replit. We're going to call it uh, inout.txt. So all you would do is just click on this add file here. I've already done it. And once you click on that, you just name it inout.txt. And then inout.txt, you're just going to put in these words in here. So the input output stream of a file works very much like a CNN and Cout, which means that what we're going to do is first we're going to open the file. And there's a function called fail. So if that file doesn't exist, this is going to be true, meaning it failed. And then we're going to just say the file was not found and return back to main, okay, as a one, to indicate that there was no file. Um, but in this case, we do have a file, so it's this is going to be false. And then what we're doing is while the stream is still open in terms of reading data, so this extraction operator is actually extracting data uh, based on a new line or a space, right? And we're using the inout variable that you see here, which is part of fstream, to read into, to extract data into Word, okay? When we extract the data, so on the first, oops, on the first iteration, you're going to take this, extract it, and put it in Word. And then we're just going to print it out. Okay, so as you see here, let me clear this. So we're going to do this while I'm able to read. Okay, once it gets to the end of file, which is here, which there's going to be an end of file marker, which is invisible to you, but it's visible to the compiler. This thing is going to give you a false. Okay, and when it gives you a false, we can just clear the buffer. Okay, so basically this means we are going to just um, clear the file pointer, okay? So what this does is we're going to comment it here. The clear method or function, it's going to clear and the file flag to allow additional file uh, operations. So in layman's terms, it just means that because we got to the end of file, right? We want to clear that flag because we want to append some stuff to the file. Okay, now the file pointer doesn't move, but we are no longer pointing to an end of file. It's just kind of kind of going to point to the end over here. Okay, and once we do that, then we can just write the word hello. Uh, what I'll do is I'll write a new line, and then I'll say I wrote this right and then close the file so it's a good practice to close the file after you're done with it so it, with the f stream as you see we're reading and writing from the file so if i run this real quick you'll see that we read the words hello 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 right we reset the file pointer and then we're going to write to the file again and then we're going to close the file so you see that i i wrote an end line and then um I have this hello, I wrote this, which is what's happening here. Okay. 
So when you're reading from a file, it's perfectly okay to do this, where we're going to continuously read it, but just make sure that you're opening the file first. So when you open the file, it basically means you're opening it to the beginning of the file, and then we just need to use the extraction operator to extract data from the file. So let me show you what's happening here. Um, Maybe we could have a little fun with this. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you take a look at our file, right, it's called inout.txt. You have the words hello, hello, and hello initially, right? So, what this is doing this thing here it's actually opening and pointing to that and my this is my variable in out file right which is a variable of type if f stream right so that's our type that's what we're using to open up a file at this point um, we're assuming that this is false because it did open the file and now this is going to happen so what this is doing is it's taking this, right, copying it over to Word, right? Word is a string variable. So now I have the word hello. This is going to print out hello. And then on the next iteration, this will hit again. And we're now going to be over here. And again, we extract. We're going to extract this into hello and again print it out. As we go through, eventually my file pointer is going to go to the end of file. Because we want to write to this file, that's why we do a clear. So when you're at the end of file, there's going to be an imaginary flag that says, I'm at the end of file, I cannot read any further. So what we want to do is we want to clear that out because we want to continue with the file and then write to it. So as you saw over here, we clear that. It's this invisible thing that's telling my variable, hey, uh, EOF, right? But when we reset the flag, we'll say, nope. We're not going to say that because we want to write the new line. So a new line and then the hello, I wrote this, right? Hello, I wrote this, which is what we get. Now, the, where did this new line come from? The new line came from this here. Okay. And then, and then finally we close the file by do calling dot close. So this has a, a function called dot close because of the type that it has, so fstream type, then it's just going to close the file. Okay, so mark it as kind of like a null pointer for the in out file variable. Okay. Okay, hopefully that was a good introduction to just um, reading from a file. And then on the next video, we'll continue doing these things um, in terms of more advanced operations.